We will have our first horse and rider to go in barrel racing coming up shortly. It will be World of Honor and Ashley Bump. And now some of the disciplines here for the Thoroughbred Makeover, we ask that you hold your applause and, and that we keep things quieter. This is not one of those disciplines. This is one where we want everybody to get loud. The horses respond to that and we want you to cheer them on in barrel racing, starting with World of Honor, a young four-year-old Gray Gelding, who is owned and trained by Ashley Bump from Chicatagua, New York, a horse that came through the Second Chance Thoroughbreds program. Ashley, the director of Second Career Training at Off-Track Transformations Incorporated. This horse, two starts in New York, and the New York bred now, without showing much speed on the track, has shown quite a good amount of speed in the new career of barrel racing. So let's welcome them into the arena, Ashley Bump and World of Honor. And let's cheer them on through one more run through the barrels. And here they go through the eyes, taking the left barrel first across the arena. He might want to be a jumper also. Was willing to go over it. The horse had a lot of try in him. Absolutely. Now He's the time was 20.244 seconds, but we'll get an adjustment on the time with hitting the barrel. Bonus for jumping over the top. The adjusted time, 25.244 seconds for World of Honor and Ashley Bump. Our next horse in the ring, number 2128. And that is In the Kisser, a horse that is for sale as part of the ASPCA Makeover Marketplace. And Stacy Stevens going so fast, she lost the cowboy hat. knocking the barrel on this four-year-old Bay Gelding. It also had two career starts. They came in Ohio. And they will exit the ring, completing their week in barrel racing. This is one of the disciplines where we're seeing that the 2021s uh, definitely look a little different than the 2020s. Uh, an, an extra year in barrel racing makes a massive difference for these guys. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing because you, you have the speed. You've got a thoroughbred, but you've got to get that mind to settle down, and the, the 2020s had more time to do that. And there's a lot of precision that goes into this. There is a muscle memory. That it is practice. It is repetition. These horses are probably understand the pattern and know it, but do not know all the in intricacies of how to turn well, how to sit, how to get past the jump to spin around. All of that does take time. Big difference between 2020 and 2021. Next in the ring, we have number 2260, Start of Action, written by Melissa Meitzen from Huntsville, Texas. This is just a three-year-old, a young Bay Philly. And Melissa's a full-time firefighter and paramedic. She says she wants to thank her husband, Victor, for not filing for divorce when Melissa told him she secretly bought this horse. In the pink tack, they now make it to the top of the arena. And we'll bring them home in 20.266 seconds. 
Ashley, they have the added difficulty, as you all know, that, you know, in this discipline, you can't really get away with plow rain. And, and the, the thoroughbreds have been taught to plow rain, not neck rain. And so they're trying to not just teach them to do this pattern, but they're also trying to get them to re react to a neck rein, which is very difficult. Uh, th there's a big learning curve here as we see that that horse was all try and really is starting to understand that foundation, but putting it into practice, it, it doesn't just simply happen. Another three-year-old Bay Philly entering the ring. Ten Plagues, ridden by Jessica Frederick from Cynthiana, Kentucky. Ten Plagues. Sire, Triple Crown Champion American Pharaoh. And now Ten Plagues looking to become a thoroughbred makeover champion. And they have some tight turns that go, take them around the first so two far. barrels. That looks good. 18.134 seconds. That was a good run. You know, not that this horse is bred to be a barrel racer, but it is the best bred horse we've seen so far <laughs> in here by American Barrow out of a Harlan's Holiday Mare. Certainly not bred to be a barrel racer, but did a great job. So they were in second place in the discipline coming into the finals, and that strong run will put the pressure on the final horse and rider to go. Number 2278, Tip Top Diva. Written by Dakota Rowell from Pennsylvania. Six-year-old chestnut mare that had three starts on the track in 2020 at Charlestown in West Virginia. That was a great first barrel. Oh, good second one, too. So this is tough. First and second, we're within a second of each other, so this is important. Eighteen point two zero zero seconds. This pair had a very strong flat pattern in the prelims, followed it up with two good timed runs in the prelims around the barrels, and now finish up with an eighteen point two zero zero that's added to their score, and we'll tabulate the final scores and have the results for barrel racing sponsored by Smart Pack. Before we award the ribbons to the top finishers in barrel racing, we have a special award to present that is sponsored by the Charlestown HBPA. It is called the Wild and Wonderful Award. It's awarded to horses that made at least six starts at Charlestown or one start at Charlestown if it is a West Virginia bred. It awards a $1,000 cash prize to any eligible discipline winner and $500 to any second or third place eligible horse. And earning a $500 prize for a third place finish in freestyle, number 2124, Ice Coffee and James Wagner. And also earning a prize as a discipline winner, $1,000 and the Wild and Wonderful Award to number 2278 Tip Top Diva and Dakota Rowell. The Best Condition Award winner sponsored by Nina Bonnie from this division goes to Wolf Singh, number 2311 and Samantha Kamen. And the TCA Award for Barrel Racing awarded to the top finishing horse that was acquired from a TCA accredited aftercare organization that will be Gumdrops Chicklet and Caitlin Hartford. And so now we have the awards for the top 10 for barrel racing sponsored by Smart Pack for the class of 2021 at the Retired Racehorse Project Mega Makeover. 10th place goes Two, number 2186, Noble Hope and Taylor Torres. Ninth place, number 2144, John's Quest and Tammy Botsford. Finishing in eighth place, number 2107, Gumdrops Chicklet 
and Caitlin Hartford. Our seventh place finisher, number 2300, War Candy and Murray Triantfilo. Sixth place, number 2286, Two Cents Worth, ridden by Wendy Yarbrough. In fifth place, number 2128, In the Kisser and Stacy Stevens. Fourth place, number 2313, World of Honor and Ashley Bump. Third place, also the top finishing amateur. Number 2260, Start of Action and Melissa Meitzen. Second place, number 2267, Ten Plagues and Jessica Frederick. And the winner for the class of 2021 at the Retired Racehorse Project Mega Makeover, Four Barrel Racing, sponsored by Smart Pack, a final score of 57.336. Congratulations to number 2278, Tip Top Diva and Dakota Rowell. And Dakota, if you'd like to lead this speedy group around the TCA Covered Arena in a victory lap, please go ahead and we'll cheer you and your competitors on for a great week at the Retired Racehorse Project Thoroughbred Makeover. <laughs> 